sun is the sole source of all forms of life on earth. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will talk about how sun stressing happens and what causes easy sun stressing on your Hoyas. You are looking at my Hoya sunrise and if you compare to the previous update of the upporting video I posted, you can see the sun stressing on this Hoya sunrise is much too heavier than it was before. I'll pan this down and show you again. All the vines which have sun stressed were secondary vines. Secondary vine means another vine like this popping out from a primary spike like this. Okay. You also know I've trimmed this some time ago. I do not know which video it was but I trimmed this to show you which mines you can select for a trimming and better growth of your Hoya afterwards okay. trimming prompted all these secondary vines and as I've told you in my previous video one reason for easy sun stressing is the sensitive new secondary vines or primary vines whichever which are propping up new the second reason will alarm you quite a bit because you know I always water and fertilize my Hoyas on a regular basis however I have not been fertilizing for some time now Plus, since we got back to work, I did not water any of my plants for three to four days. That's the second reason. Where, well, because I did not fertilize, the plant was depleted of moisture, hydration and nutrients so therefore not even the media had the necessary hydration the Hoya required because everything was enabled to bone dry during the time I could not fertilize that's where all this sun stress happened so an easy method which you can sun stress your hoyas easily which I do not recommend you to do is by not watering too and you know there is no shading whatsoever to this dead tree so this is hanging full onto the sun and it's receiving whatever the sun and rain has to offer okay. because I cannot move this I cannot even lift this I cannot you know I have to hold it above my head and lift it off the hook while on the ground and then take it to the stool that I do my videos if I need to show you this otherwise I have to climb up on the ladder 
a step ladder and do this video without breaking my neck because this is way up above right so that's the second reason depleting the plant of all nutrients and even water the third reason is highlight situations where either the sun like i'm growing now or any led grow lights you may use whether it's spider farmer soltech or any other shop light which would work for you that would glow on your plants in a very intense level i've just watered this because the weather here is rainy and then shining and then drying also to recap the first reason would be new wines whether it's primary or secondary and new leaves because they are easily sensitive towards any natural element they have not hardened up and sensitive even to your touch if you touch the tip of the vine it can easily get dried out also because of the natural oils on your skin the second reason is depleting your plant of hydration whether it's water or nutrition the third reason is intense sunlight intensity of lighting you provide whether it's spider farmer soltech or any other shop light which works for you if you give that in a high intensity your leaves will easily sun stress without any hassle so from these three reasons as i've already told you i do not recommend you to do the second reason i've given you but we all love sun stressed leaves don't we because each sun stressing is unique to each leaf and my hoya sunrise is the best example i can provide you when it comes to sun stressing i shall wrap up the video if you guys have any questions as always please drop a comment there's a lot of noise going on in the front house there's some construction going on I hope you have a great week and thank you for watching my channel. I hope you guys are healthy and well. Thank you all for watching. I love you all. Bye.